All right, here we go. This is what I heard this morning because we all have a story. It's Gladys Knight. So, the thing behind it is, if anyone ever wrote your life story, what would they have to say? And that's where it all begins with me, because on the journey of life, I couldn't figure out what I was supposed to do because I had so many experiences in different areas uh, of life. But it started off with dysfunction, you know, mental health, alcoholism, that kind of thing. And this is not to embarrass anybody, but, you know, in my leadership class, I am teaching them to look around and look back at their life. Because when you look back, you'll find your mission. And a lot of people don't agree with that because the world tells you to work from nine to five, but that there's a means to the ends with the nine to five thought process as well, because where's your family at? What can you do for your family when you're always working? Money does not heal the heart. So there is a synchronicity that has to go with um, who you are and you are spirit and you are flesh. And that's why you have the different um, philosophies uh, concerning religion. Um, moving back into my story, um, I didn't know as a child that I had depression. I uh, was growing up with depression. Uh, there was a sadness, a melancholy that you know I had. I didn't know what it was, you know, until I got older and I began to assess myself. And I would have to go back and look at pictures. And this would be you know, my spirit telling me, look at you. But my life story would end in helping others to discover these things. So, you know, I've worked and I've owned hair salons. Um, I still had to get a um, connection with working in the hair salons and it was very rewarding. From there, I moved on into um, psychology and humanities. So, um, I received my master's after eight years in uh, human services and executive coaching. I started off going into therapy. I could see that I would be kind of bored because it's not enough hands on when you're a therapist. And that's just my uh, point of view. Uh, my life had given me so many stories that I would be able to put together uh, at this time to help people, such as, you know, when you're going through family issues. And you have a, um, a point of connection that can cause you to have a mental breakdown, meaning in your psyche, uh, the neurons, um, if they're the dopamine, if it's low, uh, there's a point of connection in your brain that could cause you to have a mental breakdown. And no, I'm not a doctor, but studying, you know, psychology, you get nuggets that you can help people with. And so when you're under a lot of stress and you don't take care of yourself, meaning wellness, exercise, eat healthy, um, speak and think healthy, uh, then the potential of having uh, a breakdown is great. And when you have, mm, say like a biological makeup for depression, um, what people don't know is, is that it will be triggered or you'll be living in it and not know like myself. And so that that trigger comes from genetics. And um, I could talk about that later on, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I came on today because the life lessons are coming back for us to give to others. I remember when I was in my mid twenties and I was waking up every night and I would hear, I, I, I created you to bless the people. And it would go on for days. I, I wouldn't be able to sleep. And it was God impressing in me to bless the people. Um, and I didn't really understand it. I had been told by, you know, prophets and my godmother, who was a wonderful, great prophet, love in her heart, uh, Bishop Woodward, um, when I was 14, she said, you're going to be a great teacher. And, you know, in that manner of speaking, when people would tell me I was going to do something that was positive, I Accepted, not even knowing um, what it would entail, meaning heartache and pain. And so along the path, 
you know, I've always exercised. Um, I wasn't some great athlete, but I always had it in my heart to exercise. And that was really God telling me, you need to do this every day because of your own mindset. And then you can teach people. Well, you know, after a while, um, I would put all of this together and know I wasn't perfect. Um, you know, there would be inconsistency in my workouts, in my eating, um, in everything that I would teach. Um, but, you know, I found a time in my life where I said, I matter more than doing things for people. I matter more than just always thinking about working because working on you is so much more important. What effectiveness can you give to a company if you're not mentally effective, right? Just get my point. So after I put all of that together, I began to think there's a lot of people over 50 like myself. And yes, some people are ashamed of telling their age why I don't know, because, you know, if you take care of yourself and if you've lived, if you them to give this is the profitable get the profitable gain in life because we're actually here to help souls on the path uh there's a misconception between money and spiritual things and so the world is only about that money the mammon the material things but what happens again i've said it in my videos what happens when you have no spiritual edification or spiritual strength when your body starts to break down what happens Will your money save you? You know, there's a lot of people that have well hand over fist and cancer cannot be uh, paid away from. You know what I'm saying? You can't pay it away. You got to work mentally, spiritually, and physically on uh, cancer cells because they are actually negative cells within the body. So moving on, I would think about the fact that Genesis 12 and 2 was given to me um, and it would be a repetitive um talk or a conversation in my mind not to mention that i didn't hear it i had never heard that scripture until i went to true for living ministries you know god bless um the loves bishop love and um archbishop love uh, wonderful people so when i went there I, you know there was um minister king um i i can't remember her husband's name but Shirley King and her husband i think his name is abraham he ministered on uh genesis 12 and 2 you know, God said, bless the people and I will bless you and those that curse you, I will curse them. And so um, I was like, oh my God, I've been hearing this and I didn't even know it was a scripture. And so moving on, um, that, that it would stay with me. So, you know, my path was showing me from the beginning uh, to bless people. The other thing is, is that it was showing me how to take care of myself in the earlier part of my life with my family so that I would be able to change dynamics and cycles within the generations to come. So this can be a lot of information for many, but if you just start from a ch your childhood embracing whatever you went through and say that it was all for my good, especially those that go to church and read the scriptures, God meant it for my good. So how do you make what you're going through or what you've been through for your good? The enemy can't not defeat you unless you allow it. You hear what I'm saying? And so in that, I want you to think about what I'm saying and remember that you have a story and it's worth telling. However you put it together, you begin to focus on yourself and not on everyone because that's one of the mistakes. At some point when you've done everything for your family, you gotta come back home and say, where am I at in this? what do i do with me and so there's a time of recreating because when your kids are grown for those out there that have children you're not the mother that you were when you had them nor when they are 14 or 15. you know things have changed and so that means that you're going to change you're not the same husband you're not the same wife after 20 years things change and that means that we have to keep up with the change if you're going to keep up with life, right? So here, back in 2013, I would have never known that things were going on the way that they were in my life. But I was writing a book intuitively, Dance With Your Partner, Not Their Confusion. And so at some point, if you workplace at home, your family, your children, you got to 
take a time out and say, I'm not dancing with that anymore. And that means that you're going to dance with yourself. What is it that you have in you that you can dance with? Is it love? Is it hate? You got to make the choice of what you're going to dance with. Is it the devil or are you going to dance with God? See the straddling of the fence here. We bring them together and then they have to submit. That means that the flesh must submit to God. What is good? And both of them work uh, very well together if we keep them spiritually aligned. And so you guys can order this from Amazon. Dance with your partner. Not their confusion because the story of communication is here. When you're communicating with people as we are communicating right now. And there's only one person talking. That means that we got to learn to listen to others and also listen to what we're saying and what we teach people be the author of it. Mean authentically follow your own advice. Okay. And so here, order it today. You'll be happy. You'll get a life lesson out of this for yourself. And then some of the products that I use working out, I have samples of the tea, it detoxes. And the NRG, you get so much energy uh, with this. I don't wanna talk about weight loss because I believe that um, wellness is so much more important. If you get a wealthy mind, then you will get wealthy within your soul because it'll all transmute all through you. And when you find that life has called you to transform yourself, that means you'll work on yourself inside out. Transformer. You know, I go into um, areas of astrology because of uh, the teaching and because of the study. And astrology has taught me how to pinpoint um, deficits within us concerning the sun sign. And you see, under Saturn, as I am a Capricorn, it gives you um, feelings of depression. But if you learn how to fight that, then that means that you'll overcome. So I gave you some secrets today. I showed you some of my products. If you want to try any of the products, by the way, um, and you get up and you work out in the mornings, you have your daily devotion, that's what I do, um, you will start feeling better. And anybody that you know that are having mental health challenges, um, we want you to reach out you know, email me at ifwbuilders at gmail.com because I work with therapists. I do coaching where the, the clients that I work with come in and we teach them life skills, get them back on the road to recovery or even to um, understanding how to get back out there and make money for yourself. You know, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. That means that we teach you the skills that you need to get back into the game of life because uh, if you don't know how to get back in the game of life saying that spirit and um, your flesh have to be one, you have to have a daily devotion uh, with God and then it will um, excel because you will start to feel better. And then from there, you will uh, begin to eat better and then you will begin to think better, right? All of it is alignment. And so um, in that, I give part of my life story. The roots go deep, you know, because we have parents. It's not that we dislike our parents. We learn and we uh, do better for those out there that may say, well, I don't, you know, my relationship with my parents is not good. We uh, look at how we can change the dynamics always because wherever there is hate in the heart, uh, that's what you will manifest and that's what you will be. Um, I think I'm going to stop it there. My leadership meeting is at uh, 12 o'clock. And if you are a coach or if you are um, looking at becoming a coach, contact me because I have a program uh, for executive coaching that you can get into. And I have leadership meetings every week on Tuesday at 12 o'clock Eastern. All right. So thank you for listening. I'll come back on and give you more in-depthness concerning the roots, meaning family. And my family is beautiful, but in order to change, we'll always get an assignment where, uh, or someone will get an assignment where they're going to do things different uh, to make a difference. And um, I feel like all of my family members have, you know, made changes to make a difference. God bless my cousins. They, you know, played a great part in my life. I love them uh, to life. And, and we go on because God leads us into other things so that we can experience and bring back 
uh, stories that will edify um, those uh, that we come in contact with. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.